Welcome back friends, it's part two of my March Aberdeen's Mystery Order, which I am showing you in April because it did take a long time to get here. But it did get here, so that is always a bonus. So, future shadow just butting in really quick to remind you that if you haven't watched my last video for, with my hobby haul, I'm running a giveaway, not sponsored, except for by me. But if you want to win a kit for the hobby crochet along that's going to be starting soon, go and check out that video. I'll drop the description below. All right, enjoy the rest of the video. Like I said, I'm, I split this order into two, so I've already opened the first two mystery bags in part one. So we're going to do part two now and show you just the last two bags that I bought. Like I said, Aberdeen's mystery bags are about $25 each, I think, Canadian. That's normally approximately $20 US. I can't look right now because mine just auto reverts to New Zealand dollars and I can't be bothered changing it right now. So, <laughs> but that's it. Um, shipping is gen used to be pretty affordable. I'm not sure what the new shipping prices are yet because I haven't done an order with them yet. But the value in the bags is usually pretty good. And shipping to US and Can Canada, Canada is pretty affordable I think it was like ten dollars I think it's gone up to 15 now maybe and the free shipping they do have a free shipping thing it used to be a hundred dollars I think it's gone up but it's still it's pretty easy to spend all the money on your yarn if you're trying or even if you're not trying you could probably hit that that free shipping target if you want it <laughs> so let's get into our free, our mystery bags this one is pretty light doesn't feel like a lot in here let's find out what it is So you always get a couple of patterns in the bags. So let's see what we've got. Pretty sure this is the knit bag. Let's find the pattern. Pearl and knit. Pearl and knit. Sorry, I'm just... The pattern is literally two lines. <laughs> Simple yet effective. And it's just a, a knit cow. There we go. So this is by Tim Can Knits. I think I quite often see um, their patterns in these bags. This is the Age of Brass and Steam Kerchief by OrangeFlowerYarn.com. And last one. Ooh. Oh, I don't know. This is just a, what is this called? The Luca hat. But the thing is, it's a Juniper Moon pattern, and I know they have Juniper Moon in their mystery bags, and now I'm going to be so sad if there's not any in my bag. <laughs> so there we go. Let's have a look. So we've got Queensland Collection Walkabout 100% Organic Wool. It's colour 25, which is Cabernet. This is honestly my favourite colour red. Like that deep kind of wine red. It is quite a rustic, you can feel like a bit toothy on this one. Like I said, it's just organic. Just organic yarn. No. <laughs> It is uh, 50 grams, it's a two weight, it's suggested 3.5 to 4.5 millimeter crochet hooks or 3.25 to 3.75 millimeter knitting needles. Made in Turkey for Euro yarns. Mm. I always thought, you know, I don't know. Like, I know Australia is not that far away. But I always thought when I saw these queens that they were Australian. But I don't know. Are they just made out of Australian wool? For Euro yarns. Because Euro, that doesn't sound like an Australian company. Right, there we go. Two little red balls of yarn. We have, ooh, what is that? That is some. Ooh, it is some juniper moon. See? And this honestly 
This is one of the softest things I've ever felt. What is this? 54% extra fine merino, 30% angora. I don't think I've ever had angora before. And it is a five weight. And the color 30 or allium. Throw these out. Bulky five. It's got a bit of paper or something all through it. Brush that out. It is very soft. And purple. I love purple. It's my happy color. Yay. I got, I've never had juniper mint before. I hear people go crazy about it. So I better actually read what's going on here. So I read the com composition. I read that it's that it's a hundred. It's this is fifty grams. Look how big this fifty grams is. Fifty grams, one hundred nine yards, one hundred meters. It is recommended a six point five to nine millimeter hook or a five point five to eight millimeter knitting needle. It is Juniper Moon Beatrix featuring finest angora and extra fine non non mules merino wool. So I, I live in New Zealand and that's a pretty big wool producing company, com country. I've ne I grew up on sheep farms, so I've never even heard of mules. Like, I don't even, like, bothering that. And again, KFI collection, sock wool. Again, no, this is the first time in this video. Sock, sock weight, so it's a one weight. It is 75% organic wool. It's 25% polyamide. It's 100 grams, 420 meters. Recommended crochet hook is a 2.2 to 3.5 millimeter. Knitting needles is the same. Sheep friendly, no mulesing. Free sock pattern included. This is color 102 Monte Verde. So pretty much every Aberdeen mystery yarn bag that you get will have a KFI indulgence. 100% organic sock wool on it. So I'm getting quite the collection. I, I received one of these in the also in this box, but in my previous video, in this colour, Monteverde. And I can see another one on my shelf. And I'm pretty sure I have more in my boxes, because not everything I show you makes it to my shelf. Sometimes they just get popped into a box beside my chair, because I don't have very many shelves. <laughs> so... That's our first one. That was our knit bag. So I will be doing a crochet bag as well. So Evidence Wool Company on their website, they give you an option to choose knit and wool, which some people say that the knit bags are better. I think they're all the same, more or less. And it's just what patterns are in it. So if you want to have patterns to follow along with, pick the one that matches your craft. If you don't read patterns or if you don't really care, just get whatever ones you want. I normally get a mix and match just in case because sometimes I do find that not necessarily the quality is different between the bags but sometimes certain yarns will be in the knit bags and not the crochet bags but that's just what I have found and I could also just be interpreting things weirdly as we do when we get information <laughs> so I see a Barocco pattern so there's probably Barocco in this crochet bag there is very often Barocco in these bags. There's so many different varieties of Barocco yarn too. Like I, I feel like I could, but I do buy these all the time. And there's always new, new varieties of Barocco on here that I've never even heard of. Not that I research Barocco. It's only when I get these bags. But you know, I just there is so many. Ooh, hello. There's my patterns. Give me my patterns first, please. So we have Barocco Anita Shawl, triangle scarf. That pattern's by Barocco. 
we have a Yarnspiration sock. Like I said, there's always a sock yarn in these bags. Always. What is this called? Patterns Croy socks. And a Premier corrugated cow. That's really big. That's huge. Is that still counted the cow? <laughs> right, really. All right, let's have a look, says. So we have, boom, two Ella Ray Superwash Classic Wool. So I did get one of these in the previous video as well. It was a different color. This is just brown. Do we have a color name? Nope, it's color 080. This is a 100 grams, 200 meters, 3.52 ounces, 219 yards. It's recommended 5 millimeter hook. It's 100% wool. It's a little, it's a little, it's a little toothy, a little like firm, you know, as wool is, but it's not, it's not too bad. So I've got my other bag right here from the previous one, so um, this is, I got the exact same thing in this bag here, in a different colour. Those colours go together. Hmm. I think all colours go together. I don't know if I'll link them together though. I think once your one washes up, it would soften up. It's got a nice springiness to it. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's not quite nice. So we've got two of those. Did I read everything to you? I think so. We have a KFI collection sock, 100%. Exactly the same as the one I just showed you. This one is color Santorini. Santorini. Again, 75% organic wool, 25% polyamide. It's a super fine number one weight. It's a 2.25 to 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. So it's quite nice. Nice, a bit more bright and cheery than the previous bags one. And then I've got two here of the same. I don't know what it is. Oh, Crystal got some of this. Someone else got some too. Maybe Diane over at, I think, Pub, Pub, Pub Knits. I don't know. So this one is a chain spun. It's color one, Mona Lisa. It's a brown ombre. It's 90% merino, 10% nylon. It is... Four. Four weight. I don't think it says here. It's 100 grams, 280 meters. Oh yeah, it does say full weight. Full weight, medium. 6.5, five, five and a half to 6.5 crochet hooks. Being chain spun, it is quite light and airy and springy. It will be a nice lightweight garment when you make it. It's not as soft as I, I like. It looks quite soft and squishy. And like it is, I can feel like the airiness in it, but it's not as luxe as I thought it would feel. So I don't know this, it's, I'll hold this here, show you some more. You can look at it some more while I read it. It is called, the brand is EY Select Arinaria. I'll let you read that too, for your own interpretation of how that's supposed to be said. <laughs> and that's all I've got. So I got five, five skeins of yarn in that one. A lot of browns, a lot of browns in that. And then on that bag I got one, two, three, four. No, that's the wrong bag. This one. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so I got the two reds. They're very soft. The very soft one. And a soft yarn. So that's all I have for today for those two Aberdeen's Wool Company mystery bags. And remember to leave a comment. Let me know what you would make out of those yarns. Hit the thumbs up so that YouTube knows that people like to watch my videos. And 
if you haven't already hit subscribe and you can watch me open more boxes another day <laughs> right love you bye